parasite appears in August and September. With antennae directed vertically downwards, she inspects the egg tunnel of a wood wasp. They guide the insect to her victims, which are at this time lying in the tunnel in the egg or young larval stage. Within the bodies of these, she will lay her eggs. The insect has found a suitable spot and lowers a sheath-like portion of her abdomen within which is lying the extremely fine ovipositor. This, when not in use, is actually coiled up within the body rather like a watch spring. Note the vertical movements of the insect's body as she inserts the ovipositor deeper into the tunnel. Look closely and you will now see the ovipositor itself which the insect is trying to drag out of the tunnel. This young wood wasp larva is beyond the parasite's reach but may have been attacked in the egg tunnel. A young wood wasp larva in which the egg of the parasite is visible, lying transversely within the body near the head. The parasite larva spends over two years inside the host. The host turns its tunnel upwards towards the outside of the wood. Two years later, the parasite larva, now full grown, is the sole occupant of the cell. A larva attacked by the parasite only makes a tunnel two to four inches long. The normal tunnel may exceed 12 inches. The parasite larva differs from the wood wasp by the absence of legs and the nature of its mouth organs. Note the dark jaws and the rudimentary antennae which appear as two spots in the center of the head. The full-grown parasite larva lies for over a year in the cell, changing to a pupa in midsummer. A typical pupa in an early stage Note the dried up remains of the host larva lying in the tunnel behind it. Parasitized larvae always tunnel in the outer layers of the wood. A complete tunnel with the terminal cell occupied by the adult parasite. The parasite cuts its own way out through the wood, emerging through a small circular exit hole. A male parasite in the act of emerging from the wood. This parasite is active from May onwards. Her large size, she is often over two and a half inches long, makes her a conspicuous object. We find her busily inspecting wood wasp infected logs 
with the tips of her antennae. With these, she locates the position of the larvae in the wood. Smell, or something closely akin, probably guides her. She does not always find a victim. She may strike an empty tunnel. But she never investigates places where larvae have not been. This suggests that the wood wasps leave behind them some odor which attracts the parasite to these places. Her accuracy in locating the larvae buried in the solid wood is most striking. The insect, having found a suitable spot, has raised her abdomen vertically and inserted the ovipositor into the wood. You see the ovipositor and sheaths working together. Later, you will observe the latter withdrawn. The ovipositor is an extremely slender, flattened tube, composed of three parts, two of which are saws. Note how it bends to and fro. The insect is again inserting the ovipositor into the wood. Note the extreme flexibility of the ovipositor sheaths. The ovipositor is being inserted in the wood up to the hilt. This may be accomplished in from 20 to 30 minutes. But in places where there are cracks or crevices, the time may be much shorter. The antennae all the while are in constant motion. Cleaning the ovipositor. Re-examination and boring. The abdomen is now bent at a right angle. The insect remains quite steady on all six legs. The muscles which work the ovipositor are situated at the tip of the abdomen. The insect may find her prey deep in the wood or lying superficially. repetition of the actions already seen. A close view of oviposition showing the ovipositor working up and down in the wood. Withdrawal and cleaning up. The insect boring into the solid wood The ovipositor working at a long distance.
the insect boring through an old wood wasp tunnel. Note again the extreme flexibility of the sheaths. Cleaning up. Re-examination of the same spot. 